four games, not great to be losing, but again, you guys have the same record that you guys had this time last year. Just to get back to your winning ways, how good was that feeling and knowing that you know maybe the sky isn't really following you, but uh, it kind of feels like it is? Yeah, no, it feels great. It feels great to get, to get a win, and uh, the fans haven't got a one in a long time here, so um, it's definitely a great feeling. How big was it to, to close out down the stretch tonight? Uh, it was great. You know, um, they made a they made a late push. You know, and they got very talented players there, and um, we came, we we locked in together. You know, and uh, we got it done. And, and then the twenty boards. I mean, I know you've had it several times, but to do it against a team like that, especially with a guy like Capella, um, how important was that? Uh, you know, just you know, they they did a good job defensively taking things away on the offense. You know, so I just had to make myself help the team in in other ways. You know, and um, you know, just get the board. Get the boards, push the ball, you know, um, get offensive rebounds, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, Domas, what do you feel like was working for you guys defensively tonight? Um, we were just talking, we were communicating, uh, we locked in on the assignment, you know. Um, we, we were up, the big got below sometimes, weak side was there, you know, we were Xing out, you know. Um, we worked on that these last couple of days, you know, and it showed today. Domas, uh, Harrison sometimes gets left out of the, the sort of cycle of, of passes and mm -hmm. shots. Um, just how big was it for him to step up in a moment where some of you guys weren't having a great shooting night? Um, it's great, you know, um, that's on us how we say it, you know. Um, he's, he's always ready, he's one of the most professional guys on the team, um, stays ready, does all the work, even more. And uh, we just got to find him more, find him more um, in those situations because most of the nights he does have a mismatch. I, I might laugh at this, but free throws, just yeah. to see him actually go down tonight yeah. and, you know, only miss two or three of them, mm -hmm. just how good was that? Do you feel like that was a difference at all? Um, probably, probably was the difference, you know, we didn't, I mean, I didn't even pay attention, I didn't even know how much we missed or made, um, we go up there, we try to make them, so, same as usual every night. Don wants to kind of piggyback on the HP question, what stands out in games like this when probably his best game since opening night, um, as opposed to other nights when he's not as aggressive? Um, it's just, we have more options, we're dangerous, we have more options, you know, other guys can score, um, like I said, most of the nights he does have a mismatch on him, you know, and, um, we just gotta look for that, call the right plays, you know, and, and for him to be aggressive in them. Uh, Domas, how, how you've talked about how you guys needed to, to stop this after four games. Mm -hmm. I think it's not the first time yeah. you've said like we can't let it get to five. How 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 much did you guys need this tonight and, and why was that so important? Um it was big, you know, especially going into our longest road trip of the season. Um, get a win at home, you know, um, to start things off right and um, just get ready going into a, a tough opponent. Una victoria importante, Domas, especialmente porque se recupera la confianza y se evita caer en la en la tabla de posiciones, ¿no? Ah, sí, claro. Queríamos salir ganar ganar este partido para como tú como tú has dicho que estamos en en séptimo sexto algo así ahora y um, tenemos que seguir ganando porque somos un equipo competitivo y tenemos que estar allí arriba. Back to English, sorry to be boring. <laughs> um, Domas, you've been here for much of De'Aaron's ascension into this, this mm -hmm. superstar, and especially with the start of the season that he's had. I'm curious, from your perspective, he seems to be in a little bit of a funk right now, but how has yeah. he continued to impress you or lead, or what are the things that he's been doing over the last handful of weeks while the numbers may not be there, but he's still leading? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's in a funk. You know, um, He's playing the right way. He's um, making the right reads, getting guys involved. He's leading. Um, teams are throwing. Everything at him. He's averaging 30 points. So uh, teams these last couple of games are throwing different defenses at him. He's doing a great job of running the plays. Coach calls a lot of plays. Um, like tonight was for HB. So um, we're a great team. So there's there's many different players that can uh, show up every other night, you know. And uh, he's the one leading. He's he's the head of the snake with the ball. So um, this doesn't happen with, with without him. So you know, whatever he ended up with tonight, I don't even know. But um, we won because of him. Uh, the monster, uh, JaVale McGee, uh, the bench scored 42 points tonight. He kind of got in and uh, got things kind of rolling. What, what are your thoughts about you know, playing with JaVale this um, season? You know, he's, he's a vet. You know, he stays ready, just like HB. You know, those guys um, stay ready. They know when, they're, when their number's going to be called, and they come out and, and play at a high level, you know, and t today he showed that. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate Thank it.